Hello, hello, and welcome back to Tennis Ace. We're still just, oh, excuse me, appreciating the culture festival. As soon as I walk into my class, I see all of the walls have been decorated with strips of colored paper and with multiple paper lanterns dangling from the ceiling. I know this place was decorated on Friday, but I swear there are more lanterns here than there were when I... <clears throat> when I last checked. Still, as soon as the door was opened, an orange figure runs up to me excitedly. Iwichi-san! I've barely even had time to acc 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 acclimate uh, to my surroundings, and he's already boisterous, <clears throat> boisterously jumping around in front of me. Uh, hey there, June. You look pretty happy. I am! Look at me! I'm a- I got my waiter uniform! Look! Isn't it cool? June spins around where he stands, trying to show off the whole thing to me. Doesn't it look great on me? Yes, it does, June. You look very cute in that uniform. What? Cute? I'm not cute! That's for girls! I don't know what to tell you, June. You're pretty cute. You're pretty cute. Uh, I'm not! Alright, alright. You're not. Settle down there. No need to get so fussy over it. I'm not fussy. Oh man, trying to keep a straight face after uh, hearing that is really tough. Anyway, you're all set to be a waiter, huh? Yes! I'm gonna be a lot of... I'm gonna be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. What am I thinking? Yeah. yeah. I have no idea how uh, going around serving people food is supposed to be fun, but hey, to each their own. I look around the room, seeing a few other classmates dressed in familiar in uh, similar clothes to June. For some reason, there are uh, barely any waitresses, though. In fact, most of them are guys. <clears throat> it's better this way. What happened to the girls? It's uh, <laughs> looking like a sausage party in here. Sausage party. Oh, um, never mind. <laughs> Probably uh, shouldn't have shouldn't uh, use an expression like that around June. I really don't need to taint him with that sort of thing. Anyway, what happened to the girls? It's mostly just guys around here. Oh, I actually asked uh, Ayako-san about that. She said most girls refuse to wear the uh, Chinese dress, but that she said they all agreed. Anyway, so uh, the guys would too. So she basically used the promise of girls in Chinese dresses as bait to get more waiters. That's really scummy. Uh, the improv kitchen is uh, looking pretty good though. Although, why is it all hidden behind panels? The entire area that used to be the uh, blackboard has been um, <laughs> walled off with a wooden bamboo panel uh, that that then got decorated with Chinese, with multiple Chinese symbols. Dragons, lions, some letters. Wait, is that some Chinese zodiac over there? Apparently, Ginkun uh, said he felt too shy about cooking with the guests, uh, being able to see him. But doesn't walling off the whole area mean that the heat from the burner will be uh, trapped in there? Y yeah, uh, Jin Kun was complaining about that. These guys are insane. Oh, uh, there are a few holes cut out on the counter, so the waiter, so the waiters can uh, pick the food up uh, when it, when it's ready. Seriously, how the hell did you people have all these crazy ideas? Hopefully, there won't be any accidents. They don't have to worry about the others, Yuichi San. You don't have to worry about the others, Yuichi-san. As the oldest one here, I'll make sure to look after them. You're the one... Uh... There we go. Uh, you're the one most at risk of causing an accident. Maybe I should talk to Gin about... Uh, and ask him to not let uh, June handle any hot plates. Will they even serve cold plates? Uh, Jun-kun, we need your help here. 
A voice calls uh, June from amidst the mess of chairs and panels on the other side of the on the other end of the room. Oh, I'm coming. Sorry, Yuji-san. We'll have to talk later. It's all right. I'm gonna tell you, take a uh, walk around the place. We'll meet up later. Yeah, I can't wait. June scurries away and disappears into the kitchen area. Smiling and shaking my head slightly, I make my way out the door to explore the festival a little more. A few hours later. After I walked around uh, for a bit on my own, I noticed the time we agreed to meet and was uh, coming close to arriving. Once I got to the agreed upon meeting area, I decided to stand around with my hands in my pockets and just watch the students passing by for a while as I waited. Even though there are probably a lot of students who decided uh, they couldn't be bothered to show up today, the place still feels so much livelier than usual. Somehow, even though I uh, tend to hate crowds, watching all these students my own age walking around with their uh, friends and having fun kind of makes me feel, I don't know, kind of at ease. It's a weird feeling. Osu. Uh, of course, my ple 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 my pleasant, relaxed mood is soon interrupted by this tr trug trog you trog yo trog glo trog glodite. Uh, T R O. Uh, G, L. Yes, that word. Troglodyte. Trogul. Tro. Troglodyte. Troglodyte. Okay. Okay. Troglodyte. Okay. Uh, a person who lives in a cave. A hermit. A person who is regarded as being deliberately ignorant or old-fashioned okay okay we got there a uh, trogulodite uh, that i call my childhood friend with her now um commonplace loud greeting hey saichan you're here early so are you i guess that's true how come you're not wearing your uniform Saya-chan looks down at herself, examining her own clothes front and back. I think to myself why she would even uh, need to do this, given that she's the one who got dressed. She should know what the hell she's wearing. I guess I just wanted to be comfy. I guess. Yeah. You're way too simple-minded. Hey, Yuichi-kun, have you been enjoying the festival so far? It's pretty good, although I think I prefer the one we had last year. Really? The one that... <clears throat> that one was kind of dull to me. That's because you got stuck behind a desk for most of it, and couldn't go around exploring. Oh, you remembered. It's not exactly a hard thing to remember, after all. Man, I'm really pumped right now. Really? How come? Well, first of all, there's a bonfire dance. I don't want to miss that. Ironic that you would uh, say that, considering you've never been to it in the last two years. Well, sure, but this year I actually have someone to dance with, so as per tradition, I'll attend. School tradition? Yeah, don't you remember? that uh, They say that two people who dance together around the bonfire uh, will be tied together forever. Although, that's more of a platonic thing. Uh, most people who do it are friends. Uh, there are f a few couples that do it, too. I guarantee you most of the couples we have broke up during the, during the year. Before the year is over. Ha! Huh, probably. But that's not all I'm excited about. I ran into Hitoka-chan this morning, and she told me something huge. Apparently, she was on the phone with you... <clears throat> with Shoichi after the competition, and she heard something big. 
Oh yeah? What is it? Shuichi apparently got scolded yesterday. Oh? Ah, is that it? What do you mean, is that it? This is hardly the first time he's gotten scolded. A bunch of teams have already tried to scout him before. Well, I guess that's true. Did it say scouted? It did say scouted. Whoops. You know what I meant, guys. You know what I meant. But this time is different. How so? The scout that talked to him was from... Ekado... Ek Ek e e Ekada... Ekada Panthers. What? The Akata Panthers, they're the number one professional volleyball team in the in the country. Are you serious? That's that's huge. I know. Isn't it great? I'm surprised Yuichi would even tell her. She he usually just uh, turns these offers down without saying a word. She told me that he was on the phone with her uh, when the scout rang the doorbell. He rang the doorbell? That's kind of weird. Usually they either contact you by email or approach you after the competition. I mean, he did disappear yesterday after the match. I guess that's true. Shit, I'm not supposed to be uh, feeling bothered, but... I know Hitoka-chan is his sister, but she didn't even show up to watch the competition. And he wasn't even uh, reading my messages or answering my calls yesterday. How come he was talking to her? Are you okay, Yuichi? You seem a little out of it. Did you stay up all night again? What? No, no, I'm fine. Hmm. I thought you'd be excited about this. I want to be, but we have no reason to believe he won't uh, turn that offer down, too. What? But it's the Panthers! There's no way he turned down a an offer from them down. Whoop, I, I, I moved the word down in that sentence like twice. What am I doing? You'd be surprised. Especially considering the conversation I had with him yesterday. I highly doubt he'd accept their offer just like that. Oh, look, uh, here comes the boys. It is the boys. I look up on Q with her announcement, seeing the three of them walking out of the main building. Shuichi smiles and waves once he realizes we see them. This is a surprise. Did you three meet up on the stairs or something? Not exactly. Urata and I uh, met up inside, and we decided to fetch Kobayashi first. He looked like he was uh, really overwhelmed, trying to wait on tables. He was jumping from one place to the other in a hurry. It was really funny. That's not exactly something you should be laughing about, you ass. I look over at June, who was still uh, taking deep breaths, with uh, beads of sweat, sweat uh, rolling down his brow and uh, mixing it with his fur. Are you okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. It's it's just I didn't realize how hot it would be in the classroom once the burners were all on and we had a bunch of people inside. The place isn't even close uh, to being packed, though. Only half the tables were occupied. <clears throat> uh, if this isn't too much for you, then you're going to suffer tomorrow. Don't say that. Come to think of it, this whole thing might be hell for a guy that is afraid of crowds. Waiting tables might have been a bad idea, June. Yuichi, Yuichi san, uh, you don't need to worry about me. I'm gonna be fine. What? I didn't say anything. It's written all over your face. Wow, he's right! <laughs> look at. You look like a wrinkly old lady. Watch it, floppy ears. W what did I do? Not you. The other floppy ears. Yuichi-kun, calling someone floppy ears is a bit offensive, you know. Like I care. Yuichi-san, you shouldn't be mean to Keisuke-san. I already said I wasn't talking to Keikun. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I really don't feel like standing around the entrance watching other people have fun. 
Yeah, you're right. We should go have some fun. I can't wait to see what the festival is like in here. The five of us then start walking while we chat, uh, taking quick looks at interesting booths in between conversation. And by the way, uh, Junkun, uh, what are your old uh, schools, uh, your old schools festivals like? It wasn't much. Wait. It was much more uh, s sedate. Sedate. Okay. I, I won't bother. Uh, the school didn't have all that many students to begin with. It's probably one of the reasons I'm so bad at dealing with crowds. It was always kind of lonely there. So there wasn't anything you liked about the festival there? Uh, something I liked? Uh, oh, I remember. Uh, the fireworks displays there was always pretty nice. Uh, fireworks, huh? You So you're the type that likes those. Yeah, I love them. Man, I... I miss the fireworks in Asia. I'll be honest. Like, when I moved to America, that was, like, one of the things I was like, what? Why is this so much worse than where we just previously lived? Like, right? Especially when it's like, oh, here's, like, the 4th of July fireworks, and it's, like, half the fireworks display that, like, the Friendship Festival in Japan had, like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, guess I won't be the only one to enjoy them this year. The only one? These three aren't really fond of fireworks. Hey, that's a little unfair. I would like them. They're very pretty. I just need to use earplugs because they hurt my ears. I have the same problem. My hearing is kind of sensitive, so the fireworks really hurt. I prefer to be indoors when they happen. They're pretty much meh for me. Maybe it's because I'm colorblind. What? You're colorblind? That would explain Sai's fashion. Uh, oh, I, I didn't tell you? You rarely ever talk about yourself in the first place, Saya. Uh, I guess that's true. I, I'm sorry to hear. I really don't think uh, being colorblind is why. Even with that, the fireworks uh, should still be pretty. Not that you can uh, uh, attest that with certain certainty, since you're not colorblind yourself. I suppose that's true. You don't have to worry about it, Junkun. I don't think I'm missing something or anything like that. It just doesn't, um, it doesn't bother me much. Mizuguchi san. Oh, hey, uh, they're selling some uh, game memor memorabilia here. Really? Where? And just like that, Jin's attention is whisked away from what seems to be an important topic because he was too excited about games. Hmm. I don't recognize any of these. Are these all characters from obscure games or something? It would explain why they're so cheap. Well, these are... Uh... Okay. Is this a reference to something? I don't know. Uh, June um, points at a set of keychains hanging from the far wall. They seem to be part of a collection since they're all hanging together like that. Do you recognize them, June? Yes, they're from an old school RP American RPG released about 20 years ago. I used to play it a lot a few years back. I probably finished five or six times. Damn, that's a lot of times. Yo, know, what's the game about? You play as a detective that gets killed and sent to the afterlife, and then you spend most of your time trying to uh, keep your soul from being detect uh, dele uh, deleted uh, while trying to find out how you died. Damn, that's kind of morbid. It sounds like a lot of fun. What are the names of the characters? The wolf is the main character, uh, Wolfstar, and then there's uh, Rufus, uh, jo Jonas? And, uh, Hugo. Uh, the game has a few more main characters, but I guess they don't have keychains of all of them here. I will admit, I like their designs. They do seem like they have a lot of personality. 
a bunch of buff men? <laughs> Not my thing. Saya, you bite your tongue. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> How ironic that the only girl in the group is saying that. If I'm supposed to carry a keychain around with me everywhere, then I'd rather have a cute girl. You just enjoy being a contrarian, don't you? Huh, maybe a little. Excuse me, how much for these? June fishes for his wallet inside his pants as he uh, calls the student in charge of the tent. The guy or girl is sitting in the back of the booth. They, uh, their back turned to us, so I couldn't really see whether it's a guy or not. Then they turn around and... Oh, it's, uh, Kobayashi. Ah, uh, Ryuji-kun! Man, be true best boy, right here. You guys are here too. What's up? How come the, uh, you've got a booth display up here? Shouldn't you be working at your class's display? The bear shrugs, absentmindedly, uh, tapping away at his phone in between sentences. His gaze never stays on us for too long. I was bored, so I asked for permission to set up my own booth. I brought some products I knew were worth more than uh, they were selling for and decided to flip them. I've, uh... Wait. I bought some product I knew was worth more than they were selling for. <laughs> and decided to flip them. Okay. <clears throat> it's gotten some good money so far. <laughs> Looks like you do. You have a pretty decent business sense. He shrugs again. His eyes never um, even registered Keikun's presence due to his eyes uh, locked on his phone. I've always been uh, been good at uh, estimating value of stuff relating to gaming, I guess. Well, you are a game addict after all. Hey, uh, Ryuji, uh, how much for the uh, Sins and Paradise keychains? Sins and Paradise? Okay. My immediate thought was uh, Sin and Punishment, but like, that's an American, like, shoot em up, right? Right? I never played them. Ryuji doesn't even look at Jin's hand to see uh, where he's pointing. As soon as he uh, hears the game's name, he immediately looks at the exact place on the wall <clears throat> that were uh, placed and picked them up. These have been selling really well, even though the game is kind of old and not even known in Japan. I guess people uh, just like the design. These four are the last ones I have. They're uh, 3,500 yen each, but I'll sell you them for uh, 120,000 if you buy all four. Uh, even for just one? That's kind of pricey for me. Uh, Keikun, Shuichi, and I uh, look at each other, sharing our thoughts without uh, having to exchange any words. The three of us pull out our wallets. We'll take all four. Uh, then it becomes a bit cheaper even for you, Jun. Uh, really? You bet. Uh, besides, uh, I like their design, so whichever one I get, uh, I'll be happy. <clears throat> uh, same here. Uh, okay, thanks! We pay Ryuji. And, uh, he hands us our keychains. How do we decide who gets which? Which one do you like the most, Hiwichi san uh, I guess it'll be... Uh... Okay, let's, let's scroll back. Okay. So this is, like... This is the wolf, dog, kangaroo, and bull? I can't see the bull! I want to see his face. How am I supposed to decide? Uh, <laughs> what, whatever. Um, uh, it's probably either Wolf Star or Hugo, because Hugo Big Bull. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, but Wolf Boy. Big bull. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, mm. 
Oh, I like Hugo. He looks like a pretty strong guy. That's always my kind of guy. Yeah, he is strong. Okay, you take Hugo. My favorite is, uh, uh, Jonas, anyway. <coughs> Sweet. Wolfstar was the one I liked the most. He's mine. The one I liked the most was Rufus, so I'll go for him. Oh, okay, he's he's good. I like his hat. Uh, <laughs> I like his hat. He's got a cute tank top. He flucks him. He is good. I admire my new keychain, examining how good the color and molding of it is. The metal back is also really smooth, it's, uh, and has a um, brushed feel that I quite like. Yep, these are pretty stylish. Thanks a lot, Ryuji. I... Ryoji, sorry. I, I love these. Don't want to... Don't want one, Saya? Nah, I'm not really fond of keychains anyway. Thank you for your business. Uh, June waves goodbye to Ryoji while we walk away. While everyone else uh, either puts their keychains in their pocket or with their keys, uh, June walks uh, walks around staring at his the whole time. He looks really pleased with it. It's kind of funny. The rest of the day isn't very eventful. We go around a few stalls eating together. We play a few games here and there. There is barely any time for us to do anything, as everyone's uh, breaks quickly and it, everyone's breaks quickly end. This was the only time we had we could schedule for all five of us to go around together, so it's kind of sad that it, it ended so soon. As the four, the other four uh, leave to attend to their class own, their class's own events, I continue to roam around by myself until I get tired and decide to go home. I have to mentally prepare myself for tomorrow, as as the uh, place is probably going to be more packed. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'll end the part here, everyone, so I'll see you around.